Ronico's massive tips. The caber jack. The caber jack is another pure strain class. They are the melee tanks. They are crowd control. They are where you charge the cadence and show them you aren't afraid to take them mano a mano. And so, the caber jack skill tree. All caber jacks get charge. All caber jacks get knockback. Again, this is pure caber jacks that we're discussing, and pure caber jacks do have the distinct disadvantage of uh, rarity. As a pure class, you will only get pure caber jacks if you're deliberately pairing a a hero that you got as a reward from a fight, or you have multiple caber jack households. They're just not really the kinds of things that you will get with just a three keep setup. But here, here we go. We got charge, got fury, and rebound. Fury is kind of nice. Increased damage. Not not really gonna ever complain about that. But in my opinion, armor and uh, knockback against uh, melee attackers, which basically means that a lot of cadence will accidentally stun other cadence if they attack multiple attack you in one turn. Easily, easily a better choice for me. Uh, then you've got logjam and prime target. This is an interesting choice in my opinion. Logjam is an area attack. Area attacks never miss, and it has knockback. It's really really useful but you can't move and log jam in the same way that you can charge or you can run and hit uh, with a regular melee attack which means that it's got a much smaller range you can do one a move action and then log jam but you can't charge log jam basically uh, so really situational I like having someone that can prime target I also like having log jam available and like anything that provides knockback, it gets hilarious once you throw in the ram cap caper. Uh, then you've got fortify and stand ground. Again, this is actually a choice that is kind of uh, a difficult one to make. I tend to go with stand ground, which gives you more hit points and makes you immune to knockback yourself. Uh, you can actually use knockback with uh, uh, other heroes, so you can use it to nudge a hero into position. Uh, and maybe I'll demonstrate that in this next fight. But in general, I tend to not. Uh, I, I tend to not worry about that. Uh, I would rather use knockback on an enemy I'm fighting. Uh, so I tend to go for. Uh, I tend to go for stand ground and have that extra hit points. Uh, although fortify is also nice. I mean, more armor. Uh, armor is directly less damage from every attack uh so yeah that's good and then kill rage again this is it an ability you're only going to get towards the end of the game but it is amazing it allows your heroes to utterly crush everybody every time you kill something you get an action point back up to a cap of two and your accuracy goes down this is amazing Anytime you can kill something, you can then try and move on. You can chain attacks, and if you start with a really high accuracy, that can go on forever. But remember, not just that, there are some things that don't use accuracy. They never miss, like Logjam here, and Charge. They never, ever miss. So if you can kill something with them, then... That is a guaranteed last hit. One thing you can do as well is you don't have to charge to hit something. You can rush in and you can take out five or six enemy guys, especially if you're using something like the ram cap cable, which will really let you smash a group of guys if they're lined up right. Then you can charge the hell out of there. You can charge back to the main lines and not be worried about the enemy cracking back and taking out your hunter. And when you throw in gear on top of this, the especially the cadence gear, you really can uh, come up with some nice combinations 
and you can tank all day. So I don't actually have all that much gear unlocked for these guys uh, in this particular game. Uh, so I'll just send in these three Caver Jacks and we will see how they do. Uh, and I will go through how I use Caper Jacks without any of that distraction that other classes can provide. But you'll see that uh, I'm using three and I'm uh, I've got all of them equipped with the Ram Cap Caber and I will show you exactly why I love the Ram Cap Caber. It is my single favorite, single most favorite item in the game. I have the second tier of armor which means that I actually have armor. Here we go. Now remember, you want to move cautiously, you want to try and make sure that you don't reveal too much line of sight at once, and you want to make sure that your Cave of Jacks can retreat where possible. Okay, here we go. This does mean that I'm using single moves, because I want to be able to go, oh crap, and back off. It's also important to try and manage line of sight and not do things like that so this is why by the way it's important to try and keep characters that can stealth along because they're really good at actually letting you avoid this situation One of my my guys have just lost some XP. Uh, they're taking damage. It's really it's really not not fun. What we have here is something that is almost perfect. If it weren't for shit like this. Um, okay. This rock weren't there. This would be amazing. Can I get anyone up? Nope. Okay solution this remember you can do this you can yeah you can run in with an back attack and move enemies around and the reason why I was able to do that is because ram cap capers are awesome ram cap capers give knockback to everything so now got knockback on our regular attacks. So what I can do here is I can run in and I can uh, try and knock back this lapse. But let's say I am a bit worried that I'm going to miss and then these guys are going to be active and I can't get both of them. I have charge. Charge never misses. So I can do this. Charge never misses. It's really great like that. Unfortunately, I can't really get into a position to attack there. Uh, when you are facing twitches, try not to leave your guys near things so that they can be knocked back into, and try not to leave them in a line. Because twitches will teleport, and twitches will mess shit up. Okay. Here, we've got another charge. It's a nice long distance attack. It allows me to run in and get that guy unconscious. And I'm splitting the party, which is not really ideal. But I kind of have to do it here. Ugh. Those guys being there, inconvenient. Uh, and in fact, I kind of have to cope with this somehow. Um, I'm really splitting the difference here, which is not an ideal scenario. We'll see what ends up happening. Okay, great. So, now, remember, running the F away, not actually a bad thing to do in this situation. I know there are lapses around. I would rather not have to deal with them. We'll move up here, and there we go. Dead. Well, not actually dead, but very close to dead. And if I want, I can close the distance here. 
and try and get in and use my charge up. I don't think I will though. What I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to get in position around here. Being careful not to line up my guys, so that if these guys run around the corner, I can get them. I'll let you take this fella out. There we go. I get way too excited about this. That's that's the biggest advantage of the Ram Cap Caper. It's one of the reasons why it is generally one of the first cadence items I will I will research. Right? You just have to kill enough ruptures, and ruptures are pretty common. And you can just stun lock enemies. Because knockdown knockback only has well, knockback has a cooldown. You know what doesn't have a cooldown? That's right, the Ram Cap Caper. It takes the thing I like most about this class and apps it up. It's sweet. Super sweet. Um, okay. I kind of don't want to do this, but I need to. I need to actually take them out. Okay. So, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to draw fire. And that even went too far. That's, that's great. So things do not always go, ideally. Uh, I So one thing I could try is flanking. But on the other hand, that's going to produce more enemies for me. I don't want to have more enemies. I'm kind of picky like that. And the lead level? No. And see, these guys don't actually do a huge amount of damage. Right? That was one damage through his armor. Which, when it comes down to it, nothing. Okay, here we go. Here's the plan. Run up here, hit this guy. This allows me to run up with him. And, uh... Gee. Actually, this is a problem. So the problem here is... If I hit her, she's going to end up... Oof, she may end up hitting him into the rocks, which will stun him. So here is where I use knockback. Knockback isn't going to kill her. But, assuming I hit, which is it does tell me is a 100% chance, uh, then she'll go back into a rock. She'll go back quite far, she, further than normal. But knockback also always stuns, which is nice. And that's that one down. Now, this one is in a nice position for charge, so we charge. It's just about... Well, I don't know why he wasn't knocked back there. He, he really should have been. It's just about trying to manage these things. Fortunately, their accuracy is not super high. So if I look at his, her, she's got 80% accuracy. This guy's evasion is 8%. So it's a 72% chance. I'm being lucky. Not gonna lie. Definitely been lucky here. But. Okay. Here I'm gonna use knockback. Actually, I'm gonna use knockback that, that way. Ah! Are you kidding me? I mean, she's still stunned. But she didn't. Uh, actually, I think she must have gotten hit by the rock. This wasn't very clear. Sometimes the game does that. Not as clear as it should be. And now we'll go kill her. One and a half are dead. Uh, and move characters not so that they're in line with each other. Move them up. Ah, see, this... I keep doing this. I'm just not being appropriately cautious. Okay. Gotta try and kill it.
So, one of the things I can do, now I think about it, uh, one of the things I could potentially do is run up here and knock back, except I can't because I didn't really think about it at the time, but uh, knock back some cooldown. I could also potentially charge to get him closer, except the charge is on cooldown on this character. And lost XP. Oh, hi there, Laps. You know what? We got this. Moving behind this rock. Moving behind this rock. There you are, lady. Pop. Pop. Okay. There you are, Twitcher. Ooh, this could be bad. he can teleport swap like that exactly like that and run up and stun so this is why I did not line up my heroes because he could have if these two have been lined up he could have run around and gone whack but instead we're gonna stun him in fact what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge because I really do not want to miss and there we go stunned allows us to run up with other characters and wail on him. And there you go. That is how you play a cape jack. How nice would it be if the cadence surrendered right now? 